Hello and welcome. My name is Matapelo and we are back here at the Centenary Hall in the University of the Free State, Bloemfontein. What we are here to witness is the induction and launch of SAGE and the Entrepreneurship Business Literacy Program. So we might want to know what's in store for us. <laughs> Do we not want to? So let's ask the people, the directors involved, the students, on what's the fever? I mean, what's the vibe? Are you excited? Are you looking forward to this year? Uh, how can you not be excited? It's such a good thing that we're, it's, it's the beginning of a new year, things are changing, things are moving forward in a way that we all like. So very much so in all types of spheres, technology, politically, everything, we're all excited. Um, and it's such events that actually bring hope to the people and to the people that are trying to bring innovation to the space. So, so what do you think are the biggest opportunities faced by ICT entrepreneurs in the free state? Well, first of all, I think it's lack of opportunities and secondly, it's even when they have opportunities but lack of knowledge as to where to find information on how you can get help, if there is help. What excites you the most about being an ICT entrepreneur? Well, it's about innovation, you know, uh, always innovating good new things which will empower, I think, the future, you know. That's what excites me about the being an ICT entrepreneur. What does being an ICT entrepreneur mean to you? It means that uh, you are the founder and the pioneer and the engineer of the future, the inventor and the creator and the resolver of many things our country and Africa and the global world is facing. What are you hoping to gain upon completion of the EBL program? Well, a lot of expertise. Um, Education is power and knowledge is also, if you don't know how you to do something, how do you expect to do it properly? So um, being in the ICT industry, having my online store, I, I hope to know how to become the best online music store in the country. What do you think is the one quality that every ICT entrepreneur in the free state or the world at large should have? Commitment. What role does ICT play in the world of entrepreneurship? I think the role of SMMEs as far as technology and entrepreneurship is concerned is that we are living in an age where technology is the answer for all the solutions or challenges that you may be experiencing as a business. You find that you've got a cheaper, effective and cost effective also. Remember, when you say effective, it's also cost. So that as an SMME, you don't struggle to make your business. So that's why as MTN, as a foundation, we're supporting this initiative because it's also aligned to our priority. What's the fever among students and alumni coordinators since we're hosting the World Cup this year? We are very excited about the event and the students, I can tell you now, they are very excited to, uh, to take part in the SAGE World Cup since it's going to be us hosting it. We've been waiting for this moment, we've been traveling all over the world, we didn't get a chance to host it, but now is our time. We want to show the world what South Africa has. What can students expect from you as a mentor? Um, what students can expect from me as a mentor is dedication, commitment, um, that go-to person that you can always go to, ask questions, mentorship in every single aspect and giving our all to everybody. Dr. Pizzi, what was the biggest challenge faced by the Free State in finding ICT entrepreneurs in the Free State? Matapelo, thank you for the opportunity. I'm not sure why, but uh, somehow information technology, This, I mean we live in the IT era now, and that's where the world is going. Everything, I mean, we use ICT, our phones, our laptops, everything. But somehow, in terms of business, we seem to be lacking in the free state. We really struggle to find the guys. Um, if you find them, it's common internet cafe. But in terms of innovation, where you're looking for, you know, innovative ideas to sort out the problems in the society, which uh, culminates into, a, into business, somehow our entrepreneurs haven't really, you know, um, got into that level where they they think more innovatively out of the box in terms of ICT so it is really challenging I think if they are out there they must jump out 
and come out and prove us wrong, but it's really challenging. I mean, we went even up to Kwato to go look for them. Prof. Anzeel, as the director of the program and the lecturer of the program, what can the students expect from the program itself? Oh, this year I think we're going to revamp the program a bit. So, but they can expect um, all the stuff that's up, that are part of a business, drawing up a business plan. Um, so that's the main part that, that we're going to do. So when they are done, they will have a full business plan um, for that. And then the mentorship, we will cover all the stuff in the business plan um, also as practical mentorship for them. Dr. Fiti, as the National Coordinator of SAGE, what was your reaction when you found out that we're actually hosting? <laughs> uh, you know what, um, if I look back, the bids that we did, that we lost for the World Cup soccer, you know, um, it was the same feeling, you know, where you have to bid and this time we are up against European countries like your Bulgaria, your Armenia and all these countries and then we put up the bid uh, Deben is the host city, so for us to be announced as the winners, that shows that, you know what, South Africa is up there, we are ready, we are being recognized, and people want to come here as the, you know, uh, destination of choice. So, no, I think for our country, for the economy of the country, bringing down all these countries, and for the program itself, it shows exactly what, what you are doing is right, so we are moving, yes.